Well, make it two wins in a row for the black and gold as we welcome you in here to our UCF night precast. Is getting you set for the Knights and Southern Miss coming up on Thursday. Scott Adams here along with assistant coach Brett Fink. And coach, you can't say enough about the way your ladies have played these past two games out. Most recently against Memphis in which we score 83 points on the day and at the same time sweep the Tigers for the first time since 2009. Well, and you know, we set out to, to beat them on the backboard and to score in transition. We were able to accomplish both those things. We had some big defensive stops, you know, uh, and then we knocked down free throws. I mean, that, that's a recipe for, for success right there. And, and talk about the free throws. 33 of 46 free throw opportunities there for UCF. I can't tell you the last time I saw a game in which there were a combined 56 fouls that uh, were committed amongst the teams. <laughs> it was a war of attrition to a certain <laughs> degree, you know, just you know, could we keep kids in the game and – and I think they fouled out four, and we were able to keep our kids in, and we adjusted. That was another kind of a big point for us. Uh, our kids adjusted the way the game was being called after that first four-minute segment of the second half. We kind of figured it out. Well, you get both games there at home, both victories, the one on national television, and then the second one, our highest attended game of the season. And you could tell our ladies really maybe playing with some of the energy that the crowd was feeding them. Well, there's no quit in them. I mean, that's been the thing that, that we've been – as proud of as anything is, is they just keep going and, and we may have a bad game here we may have some bad performances there but in general our kids just keep fighting keep fighting and they walk into every ball game thinking they can win so you know, and when we rebound and can score in transition, we can win. Plus 11 there on the boards. UCF out rebounds the Tigers for the second game here on the season. We are now at the midway point of CUSA games, and we're starting to see the Knights creep up there in those standings. We're going to start to see teams for the second time. We saw Memphis here for the second time, and now coming up on Thursday against Southern Miss and the Golden Eagles. They're jockeying, they're vying there, or they're right in the middle of the pack. Jameer Faulkner has been a sensational guard since she stepped on the floor in Hattiesburg there for Joy Lee McNellis. But that game uh, earlier on in CUSA play where they came to, to our house, a tightly fought basketball game, but we were unable to go ahead and get it done down the stretch. Yeah, we've got to do, we've got to do a better job on Faulkner. I mean, that, that, that may be one of the bigger keys. So we, we can't let her get off, and we can't let her get in positions where we've maybe defended well for 20 seconds of our shot clock, and in the last 10 she kills us. You know, uh, we do that, and then again, rebounding, rebounding, rebounding. We have, we've got to continue on that, on that note, and we've got to continue on that trend of out rebounding our opponents. Well, the numbers rebounding the basketball for UCF guards there against the Memphis Tigers. Brianna Jackson, she had 11 of them. Andrea Hines had six. That was on a night when the Bigs got into foul trouble, but the backcourt getting it done there for UCF as the Knights red hot right now is a two-game winning streak here on the line as UCF taking on Southern Miss coming up Thursday night. You can hear the coverage right here on UCFathletics.com beginning at 745 with tip-off slated for 8. For assistant coach Brett Fink, I'm Scott Adams. We will see you Thursday as UCF takes on Southern Miss round 2.